boy and today I'm back with a Yu-Gi-Oh! tier analysis video and today I'll be doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! tier analysis on Go Goblin Riders and Battling Boxers. So let's get started. First up for the pros, they have good monsters, they have good spells and traps, they can easily swarm, they can OTK especially due to their continuous spell card, and it can set up disruptions. They also have access to rank 3 and rank 6 toolboxes also thanks to the continuous spell card. Also, this deck is fairly versatile due to their toolbox, and they're fairly consistent. Also, this deck can also bully Xyz monsters, most specifically Zeus. And for the cons, this deck can fold to more than one disruption. For the stats, I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5 in power, since this deck can OTK, mostly due to the continuous spell card. I'd give it a 2 out of 5 in defense a 2.5 out of 5 in recovery, a 3.5 out of 5 in versatility, and a 3 out of 5 in consistency. And overall, I'd say that this deck is a tier 3 deck. I feel like the things this deck is actually missing is like more main deck monsters, but at the same time, this is a brand new archetype, so that might actually change with the upcoming set. Next, we have Badland Boxer, and Badland Boxers are an Xyz based archetype that came out in Texel, and recently they got new support. And by recently, I mean like a few months back. I don't know what took me so long to actually talk about this archetype. You're late. Thank you for waiting. But anyways, let's get started. For the pros, they have great monsters, they have good spells and traps, and they have decent recovery options. They can also swarm the field and can set up disruptions. They're, cons they're fairly consistent and fairly versatile and they can also float too. And for the cons, they generally cannot play through more than one negate. Also they lose to graveyard manipulation because you like to, because like a lot of them, like I mentioned, they float so a lot of their effects do trigger in the graveyard. And if your opponent happens to use a shifter, you're kind of out of luck. As well as if your opponent has something like Necro Valley preventing you from taking monsters out of your graveyard, you're also out of luck. Also for the stats, I'd give this deck a 3, three out of 5. For defense, a 3 out of 5. For recovery, a 2.5 out of 5. For versatility, a 2.5 out of 5. And for consistency, a 3 out of 5. And I have no idea why this says tier 2.5. This is meant to be a tier 3. It's not, it's not competitive in the slightest, but it's really good. It's a really good deck you can bring to your locals and have success with. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about Goblin Riders and Battling Boxers, and it's been me, your boy Blugetska, and I'm out. You're all free now!